hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world tutorial series so in this episode i'm going to show you how to add a road uh, material layer for the landscape material so now as you can see here you can see the roads from the distance like this uh, you can clearly see the road against the landscape the rest of the landscape from the distance so as you go closer you see the detailed road texture like this so this is what i'm going to show you today how to make such a uh, road textured layer like this And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, so last time I said I wanted to make these roads visible from distance. But at the moment, they are not much visible. The reason is I have been using the same same this uh, soil material layer for the roads and in the close they are visible but when i go further they are not much visible that's because uh, as i said before i have used this l2 distance color like l this color I can change it but if I change it the problem is that in the distance I will start to see this change so because of that I said I wanted to try I wanted to add a different layer for the roads so let's see how to do that let me open my landscape material and under layer blend i will add another layer let's call it road and for the okay for the texture no, let me get one of these yeah let me get one of these uh, material functions well actually i think i can reuse one well but uh, but if i do that then uh, then again i'm gonna have to change the distance color so yeah i'll duplicate one of these and place it here so this is rod And for the road, I'll use the same parameters, just like others. Distance, scaling, yes, scaling, blend, distance, and blend sharpness. Everything I'll use as same. Distance, scaling. No. First one is near sampling, near scaling. And the next one is distance scaling. And blend distance. What else? Uh, blend sharpness. Okay now for the normal and base color and distance color i'll create new parameters
for the textures I'll we have yeah this I'll select these four nodes and duplicate and I'll rename them I'll call it road texture and road normal and road tint and road distance color road texture should go to base color and road distance color here tint here and normal here what about the other nodes oh, we have metallic specular and roughness okay let me save right now I'll connect the output the result to this layer road and also yeah now let's apply for some reason my grass is not visible at the moment it will be visible when I play the game but Yeah, as I said, it is visible when I start playing the game. Share data cache not in use performance is impacted. What is this? I'm not sure what that error is. Okay, we will look into that later. And now, uh, wait, what? Oh, we have some procedural or redundant procedural objects it seems let's delete them one is over there we don't need it another one is here let's play the game again Alright, uh, now let's apply. Uh, let's first see how does the road layer looks. At the moment, I don't have. Yeah, let's see. Let's assign a new texture for this road. Oh, for that, I think something like. Material that's like uh, gravel. No, gravel is not good. But let's see. Road. Oh, well, let's try this one. For now, actually. We will change it later. And let's paint it somewhere just to see how it looks.
rod i need to add a uh, weight blended layer okay share is uh, compiling and it's not showing up why is that something is wrong all right i think this has to do something with the texture settings let's open the landscape layer Okay, I think uh, the problem is we have used more texture samples than we are supposed to. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, can we use only 10? Okay, so maybe we can do something like this. Instead of these two textures, uh, we have this brown texture we had earlier that coming from layer 2 so let's reuse that L2 oh, base color and L2 normal but still we can use a different distant color that's the main prayer that's the main thing Let's see if the problem will resolve. Yeah, it's gone. So yeah, the problem was definitely the uh, definitely the number of textures. So okay, so I'll paint the road texture here. Wait. Okay. Oh, we don't need grass on the road texture. So I'll from this one where is no grass. Here we need another subtract node. Let's remove, let's sample. Oh, we don't need another subtract node. We can just add this. Here, instead of L2, I'll add road. Oh, I can't add another pin here, right? No. So let's add. And apply. So now the grass should be gone from the road. Wherever I paint, yeah, just like I said. If I paint row texture here, the grass will be gone. Okay, now we need to tweak the distant color. So for that, yeah, first I need to tweak the tint. 
10 distance color so road tint i'll use yeah this color and for the road distant color i'll use the maybe the same color yeah so if i go further you can see the road color like that okay okay maybe we need to increase the visibility of that a little bit Oh, we are changing the road tint. No, we need to change the road color. Yeah, this is good for the distant color. Okay, now uh, instead of the L2 layer, uh, we need to apply the road layer for this. For this uh, spline so let's uh, select all the segments and then instead of fill to I'll put road and let's select the control point yeah okay all right now here uh, let's use this option let me go to game mode okay now we, as you can see everywhere the road is visible like that all right so if i go back to the normal mode you can see now you can see the road from the distance without any issue and it's like this from closer range and it's like this when you go further cool now it's clearly visible from the distance and i'll stop this episode at this point